Hi everyone, this is Peter Gregory at Gregory Tech Drum Center. I've just walked downstairs and we're in my studio, which is also where I practice. This is in response to the Drumio Shed by Jared Falk. So he wanted to know where people are shedding and practicing during COVID-19. Uh, I am fortunate in that my studio is also where I get to practice. So we're gonna take a look around, here we go. So now we're looking at uh, the view as soon as I get downstairs into, into my studio practice space. I do lessons here. Before COVID, I was teaching uh, quite a few students one-on-one. -on -one. This is my kit here where I sit when I'm teaching. Beyond that, and I'll get a better shot of it later, is this where the student gets to sit. Uh, this is a Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute. Uh, actually with a maple hybrid snare. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera a little. You're gonna see three flat screen monitors. So when I am doing lessons, either in person or on Skype uh, and Zoom, I can have lots of options here. I've got a bunch of different video cameras. The one I'm looking at right now is, and you can see me in there as well, uh, the top left corner is a nice overhead shot, and then to the left of the hi-hat, I have a video camera as well. So the student kit, when they're here in person, is over there. I've been playing around with, just for fun, with a recording custom bass drum with some live oak tom-toms. Uh, so if I keep turning in this direction, and I'm just going to turn back toward the other part of the studio, uh, I have some frames here, which I use for vocal booths or like a, a little guitar amp booth and i cover them with packing blankets the vocal booth i've it's more than just packing blankets so that the people can see out um i run these jazz workshops here so when these vocal booth is uh, when the vocal booth isn't here i also have like this set up for a keyboard player maybe two guitar players could be a vocalist that kind of thing there's a bass amp here, all that kind of stuff. I made these uh, with a friend of mine. I made these nice sound panels. If I switch over here to this view, we're kind of looking back to where we entered earlier. Um, I'm a bit of a nut. I've got a bunch of different snare drums, a few different hand drums over there. Uh, there's a live uh, system here with some JBLs so that the keyboards can be played through that and or a vocalist. I'll come over here now. We're seeing the back of a monitor. Here's the front of my kit again, the, the custom, the uh, Maple Customs. So I'll come over here where I do the recording or where the recordings go into. Here's uh, that recording custom bass drum with the uh, live oak toms. There's my basketball over there. You gotta fit, always have that. So over here, I'm gonna turn this. Oh, nice xylophone there. That's like that's kind of like a pit xylophone. It's only three octaves, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, here's my Toft mixer. So I'm an analog guy going into the digital world via some Lynx Aurora uh, analog to digital converters. I have a Pro Tools session up here that I did recently, and uh, obviously many of us are having to work in this uh, kind of realm right now where we might do some remote sessions. Here's a little monitor. I can always see what I'm recording. When students are here in person, I do record everything into Final Cut, so that's a cool thing for them, and I can send them an MP4 of every drum lesson that they get. So from this corner of the studio, it looks something like this. If I kind of back up a little, again, you get to see the monitors, the overhead lighting that I've installed, uh, the two kits. That area over there where we have a couple of frames with the PVC piping. A lot of times there's another drum set set up over there for these jazz workshops. So I'm gonna move into this other room here and I'm, I'm just trying to move along quickly and not take too much time. Little workbench there, kind of full of all sorts of different things right now. Um, so just some, you know, drum heads and drum sets. So there's uh, uh, the rest of the recording custom toms. Uh, there's my Phoenix kit right there. Okay, so there's the Phoenix drum set. Uh, I got a phone call, and so now I've silenced my phone and put it on Do Not Disturb. So we're in this other room. 
Got some Yamaha Oak Toms there with the Ringo tea towels whenever I need those. Uh, various microphones in that area. A smaller bass drum for my maple kit. A sub kick from Yamaha. A fun drum set over here in the corner is my Leedy kit from the 60s. Uh, this window, by the way, since I'm in the basement, but I run a business out of my basement. So this is an egress window. So we have a, a nice way out just in case we can't get out the other way. Um, there's another Phoenix bass drum, different size than the other one that you saw a moment ago. Lots of cymbals. Um, some microphones, the 421s that everyone likes on TomToms, and so do I. Uh, right now I've been working on stuff just where I've been recording uh, with fewer microphones, and so no close mics of the Toms, and that's been uh, a fun and interesting project. A couple of more bass drums here, actually three, two of the Oak Customs, and then a DW. Um, what have I missed? Anything? There's another snare drum cowbell and various uh, other things so thanks so much for coming i'm going to turn this around so that's it stay healthy stay safe thank you jared for all you do lots of my students love you they find your website really great um so and it's just wonderful to be a part of what you're doing right now uh keep wearing your mask everyone um we're not out of the woods yet so let's stay safe stay healthy and thanks